on Theme Park Worldwide HQ. We're just going to leave it a bit of time just for more of you to come and join us tonight. Nearly a thousand of you watching already. Hello everybody. Good evening everyone. How are we all doing on this fine Thursday evening? I know, it is I was Thursday. thinking where we were. I was thinking there. it was Friday then for a minute. I had a bit of the Friday feeling. But good evening, happy Thursday everybody. Welcome to Theme Park Worldwide for another live stream. We've not done one for a while. No, we've not done one for quite a while to be honest. The last stream that we did was at Universal Islands of Adventure. Was indeed. The big announcement, of course, that uh, Charlotte was joining oh, the channel full time. Lovely. Have you all been enjoying seeing Charlotte full time on the channel? Let us know in the it's comments. It's been really exciting. Yeah, it's been, have you been finding it, Charlotte? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it, to be honest. Something a bit different as well for Definitely. you. You know, it's so nice for me, the fact that, yeah, it's been the both of us. It really I'm has been great. All the time. Oh, it really is wonderful. Good evening, everyone. Hello to everyone who's watching us tonight. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, let's have a few shout outs. Shall we got Adam who's watching us tonight? Thanks, Hello. Adam. Uh, um, along with that, we've got the Rusty Pig who's watching tonight <laughs> out there to you. Stacey's watching. Yes, love seeing Charlotte. Well, there Aww, you go. Thank you so much. Really nice. Got Pete's watching tonight. Stuart just there. Also, let us know whereabouts you are joining us from. Yeah, where are you? On this fine Thursday evening. But uh, hey, loads of shouts coming in. we got Chloe who's watching. Peter. Oh my God, we've got the nice Strider watching. Hi, Hi out there. Uh, watching us from Tenerife tonight. Good friend of ours. Uh, honestly, thank you so much to Danny Grimshaw um, for your super chat tonight. Night. Colossus retract thoughts. Yeah, that's the big news in tonight. Yeah, it, was, isn't it? it was quite shocking to be honest. Yeah, Thought Park posting on uh, on TikTok a little clip of Colossus missing some tracks down the phone. Um, yeah, that looks interesting, doesn't it? Does it? Indeed. Yeah, yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing what they do with that. Did it need retracking though? Say, I don't think it did, to be honest. No, nah, I think Colossus is a good ride, to be honest. But uh, there we go. At least of uh, yeah, at least they're spending the money exactly. on it, I guess. Yeah, hopefully they'll give us a repay. Nearly <laughs> 1,400 of you watching Hi, tonight. Everyone. Hi, live here from Theme Park Worldwide HQ. We'll get into the main focus of this stream shortly, but it's just nice to talk with you all. Have a bit of live interaction. It is indeed. Let us know where you watching from on this fine Thursday evening. Who else we got watching tonight? Loads of comments coming so in. So many. We got Zach watching. Hi out there to Jess. We got Chris watching tonight. Alison. Uh, hi out there to everyone. Hi. No matter where you are watching from, hi out there to all of you. Uh, nearly 1,500 of you joining us tonight live on YouTube. But uh, yeah, how did you, uh, the big thing that we've done this week, or I say we, I don't want to take any credit <laughs> for this. The big thing that Charlotte has done this oh, week no. has been the run. Tell us oh, a bit about I it. I really enjoyed it. So on Sunday, I actually run five k at Alton Towers and yeah. I absolutely loved it and I managed to do it in 40 minutes which was really good I didn't do any training I just went for it and absolutely loved it and I'd do it again I loved it you did so well Charlotte show brilliant. us some support in the, in the comments we'd love to see that but uh, it was very last minute it we, was you decided like three days before yeah well, I was like I'm going to run at Alton Towers and I just did it and I really enjoyed it check out the vlog if you've not yet seen it it was something really different for us on the channel I didn't run but Charlotte did an amazing oh, it was job nice seeing you around the course I loved it like it was a bit so of support good. for you yeah it was really nice but uh, oh, look at the comments Holly says well done Charlotte Thank Amy you so smash Smashed it, Charlotte. Thanks, Amy. Uh, honestly, like, I'm so proud. I think everybody else is as it well. It was a great experience. Yeah, it's something. Would you do another run? Oh, 100%. I really enjoyed it. Do you think it made it, though, the fact it was in a theme park? I think it was really nice just running around the park. The atmosphere was so good. The people were so lovely, but I loved it. And it was so last minute, but uh, maybe, you know, more runs in the future. But I managed to do it. Yeah, definitely. Big shout out to Michael Jameson Comedy. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Please address rumours of Zydra <laughs> in your garden. That well, would be so so the room is true. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I wish Zardra was I'd going to my garden. I love in the garden. Uh, no, Zardra, but some parts from Apocalypse at Drayton Manor. Yeah, exactly. There's going to be a really nice selection. I'm going to some more about the British Theme Park Museum, which we announced in the last live stream in September, uh, a little bit later on. So stay tuned for that. But uh, thank you so much. Uh, what, 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 there we go. Um, keep up the good work. Honestly, we really do appreciate oh, thank it. You so much. Thanks so much. Um, what we'd like to see next at Paulton's Park, Michael said. A uh, water coaster or yeah, water ride. I think that would be really good. Replace that temporary log flume. Yeah, I think they sort of need to freshen up that area a little bit and bring it in with the rest of the park. Definitely. We've got Stephen who's watching tonight. Hi, Thank you so much for your support. Thank uh, you. More great content on the channel this year. Enjoying the new content from the house as well. Uh, keep it up. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. Head over to the Sandbrook Adventures if you haven't already. We'd love to see all of you over there. And in fact, we'll do a live stream.
stream on that channel soon yeah, as we well. Will do, which would be nice. um, with a bit of a house update, we'll take you for a bit of a live walk around the house. We've got super fast internet here now. It's so, so good. Fingers <laughs> crossed. This is where like the live stream just drops oh, no. out. But Don't um, jinx we've it. got super fast internet. So yeah, hopefully that's gonna really help here for some uh, things like that in the future, live streams and all that jazz. Um, thank you so much to just Gemma. Um, hi out there to Sue and Gemma and good old Telford. Oh, hello. Hi out there to Telford, who's uh, watching us first tonight. Really do appreciate so your support. Comments. There is Simon Cornwall. Congrats, Charlotte. I watched the video. Oh, you did you so, so well. Much. Oh, thanks, Simon, for your support. We really do appreciate that. Um, well, we got loads of people who are messaging in tonight, which is really kind of you all. Yeah, really nice, you know, filming some new content for you Definitely, all as well exactly. with the house, which is great. There we go. Awesome. But uh, here we go. Right. Shall we uh, start talking about what we've got coming up then, Charlotte? Definitely. Let's do it. We've got lots to be excited for. Thanks so much, Clary. Thank you, Clary. Really appreciate your support. Yeah, we've got loads coming up, haven't we, on the we channel? We have indeed. Nearly 2,000 of you joining us live. Good evening, everybody. Hi, everyone. Let us know where you're watching from tonight. From Wales. From yeah, Tosta. thanks, Jamie, from, uh, for your super chat just there. Thoughts on Premier Rise and Schwarzkopf teaming up? Great news. I'd really like to good. see them do some more classic stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I like the fact they're doing that. Definitely, yeah. Really yeah. good. We, we're not high up this year. Oh, I know. It's a shame. Maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year. We just year. have that much with the house and everything. It's been uh, been pretty crazy, to be honest. But uh, yes, right. Let's talk about what we've got coming up over Christmas, shall we, Charlotte? Oh, yes. Yeah, so the festive season is here. Hyde Park Winter Wonderland officially kicks off tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be down in London for the next couple of days. So we're going to be at Winter Wonderland. Wonderland. Oh, I love Winter Wonderland. It's so good. Yeah, we're really excited for that, aren't we? Oh, really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be great, Winter Wonderland. Thanks so much, Paul. Uh, well done thank on the run, you. Charlotte. Oh, thank you so much. Will you both be heading to Lighttopia? Oh, we definitely will be, yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to Lighttopia Lighttopia. Again. Always fantastic. Tom, hi out there to you. Hope you guys are settled in at your new place. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Tom. Really appreciate your support. And also Cameron Stewart tonight. Thank you so thank much you. for watching. Really do appreciate it. Let us know in the comments, of course, where you're watching from and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy watching the channel we really do appreciate thank it thank you richard thank you so much um so yeah we're winter wonderland um unfortunately holland blitz hasn't come oh, no. which was going to be coming however there's loads to look forward there's to still so much to look forward to thank you to Stuart Wooten thank you uh, for watching if you could work again at any theme park in the world which one would you choose both of you Ooh. Oh, I've never worked at a theme park well, before where would you work if you could see I really don't know there's just so much choice it's so hard the thing is for me working at a theme park kind of spoils it in a way yeah you know I enjoy Alton stand. Towers a lot more now that I don't work there when I worked there it wasn't as fun because you're going to work so for me I'd rather work at somewhere that um, I don't enjoy going to on a regular basis basis <laughs> so i'm not i don't really want to offend any parks out there but i'd rather work somewhere like a gulliver's park maybe yeah, somewhere, somewhere that i don't that, go to a lot yeah something you know. that you don't go to all the time so you don't <laughs> yeah that's it a spoiler like wouldn't that. it yeah that's the thing but uh, thanks so much for that Stuart. really do appreciate your support uh coasting with the joneses uh thanks Thank so, so much that. For watching tonight, really do appreciate your support. There we go. Um, so yeah, we've got that coming up Winter Wonderland. We're gonna nip to Babylon Park again. I've, I've not, not you've been, been before. Um, we've got Babylon Park coming up. That's the UK's newest theme park, effectively. Um, so we're gonna go and check that out, which we will be are nice. indeed. Thank you, Jess. Jess Barber is watching. Visit the Yorkshire Wildlife Park Illuminations. Oh, that's yeah. quite interesting. I've heard about that. I've heard it's quite good. I've not seen anything. Yeah, like that. I'd like to at some point in the future. Um, but yeah, so we've got that coming up. Nice little London trip but then something we've not done for quite a while is go and do a Europe trip haven't oh, we? Oh it is indeed. Yeah so we've actually got a nice Europe trip which is going to be coming up um, in just under two weeks time we're going to be heading out to Germany and the Netherlands and we're going to be going to some classics uh, that Charlotte's not done for Christmas before. No I've not done them for Christmas before. Yeah so uh, we've got lots coming up we'll talk about that in just a moment. So many comments coming through tonight thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you Rachel. Rachel Johnston who said love you guys what do you think Jewel will end up like. Oh, I'm really looking forward to Jewel. Yeah, so am I. I missed it so much. Yeah, we really missed going on it because it never really has a queue. I know, I go on it every time that we go. <laughs> but uh, no, looking forward to Jewel. I hope it ends up like more like a traditional haunted house. Yeah. The guns, I'd imagine, are going to be gone. I want some big new theme in, new soundtrack. 
Hope it's going to be good. Yeah, I hope so. Fingers crossed. But thanks, Rachel, for your support. Thank you. Philip Tad, who's watching tonight. Well done with the run, Charlotte. Please both do it next year in fancy dress. Wow. I should have done it in the <laughs> alien costume. What about the Viking running? I like <laughs> Please do more lives so we get the chance to contribute regularly for oh, your fantastic thank you so content. Much. Thanks, Philip, for That's your kind lovely. words. We've got Brummy Chad, who's watching tonight. Big shout out to Richard and Judith, Hello. who love the channel. Hi out there to the both of you. There we go. Oh, so many comments coming in tonight. It really is wonderful just to see all of your support coming in. Thank you Thank to Catherine you, Palmer. Catherine. Really do appreciate your support tonight. We've got Nigel Craft. Um, just paid deposit for a seven-part Europe trip next Ooh, year. Oh, that'll be really good. Never been to any of them. Your channel's given me the motivation to do it. Have a fantastic time. That is a big part of what we do this channel for, and both our channels. It's inspiring people to go out there and keep on riding. Exactly. Hey, and see what there is. You know, there's so much out there, isn't there, Charlotte? There is so much. Lots to see. We will get round to talking more about his trip. <laughs> We've got so many comments coming in. Um, uh, but on, honestly, guys, no, enjoy your Thank trip. You. Sam Robinson, any wedding plans yet? Watch this space. Watch this space. Watch this space <laughs> for a theme park worldwide wedding at some point. Uh, UK Fun Fairs TV. Hi. Hi to you watching tonight. Shame there's no Stoke Winter Wonderland this year, but can't wait for Hyde Park. Oh, no. It's a shame the council have been very miserable about that. And yeah, unfortunately, very we're not sad. having Stoke Winter Wonderland. It's not a massive event, but still, it's an event, it, it's an event you know. And yeah, it's a shame it's a about shame. that. Thank you to Richard uh, for your support. Richard. Really do appreciate that. Will Oak will be the UK first RMC. If I'm being very honest, I highly doubt I don't it. Think so. I don't think the money's there. I mean, Aspro, the company that owned that park, they've not got lots of money. No. However, as long as they keep on top of Megaphobia, that's what I could ask for that exactly, park. Exactly, yeah. It's a legendary wooden coaster. It wasn't riding the best this year. I want to see them looking after it. Definitely. So spend the money on, on Megaphobia. That's, that's what I really want to see there, Richard. Uh, thanks to Reese who's watching tonight from West Hi. Bromwich. Love you so much. Thank you, Reese, for your support. We really do appreciate it. Loads of comments coming in from you all tonight. Let us know where you are watching from. Uh, thank you to Alfie for your support. Which ride type would we like to see at Drayton? What about you, Charlotte? What would you like to see? Oh, a nice Co new coaster, coaster of some would form. be really nice. Yeah, I think that's needed, to be honest. Thanks to Fran. Thank for you, uh, watching tonight. Really do appreciate your support. Yeah, I think a coaster would be a coaster great. Would go down for Drayton well. Manor. We've got Emma Bradburn watching tonight. Please Hello. give my son Axel a shout out. Hi there, Axel. Hello. Really appreciate your support. It's also his 15th birthday on Sunday. He's having a special theme park oh, cake. Have a great birthday. Honestly, have a wonderful birthday, pal. And yeah, send us some cake this way. Yeah, just send, send it in. It. Yeah, we, we love the cake. Honestly, have a great uh, birthday. Uh, we've got uh, Remy Marsh who's watching tonight from Cleethorpes, oh. RIP Pleasure oh. Island. Oh, there's a Such good part. I always remember that last day. Yeah, I know. It was special. Theme wasn't park it? worldwide reached 50,000 subscribers really that day. Nice. So I'll always, always remember, remember it for that, that as well, you know, which was really special. Uh, I've got Amuse Dan watching from the Netherlands. Hello. Hey, uh, let's see we're coming. Uh, any thoughts on the closing of Spookslot in Efteling? Updates on the brand new attraction. Well, I'm sad about Spookslot because it was a classic. However, I think things have got to move on. Definitely. And space is limited. And the new attraction looks beautiful. It looks really good. Keeping the soundtrack as well. And having this big spin-in system it's with loads of different, different scenes. I think it's going to be great. Yeah, I think it'll be great. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're really looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, in the Netherlands, we're coming over to see you soon. We are coming. We, we are. will get around to talking about this <laughs> very soon. We've just got that many comments coming in. Um, it really is uh, amazing. Thanks so much, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Local switch on down south this weekend. Uh, big shout out to Adam from Hello, York. Adam. Um, from Hayley. Have an absolutely wonderful evening. Philip, going to Disneyland Paris next week for Christmas and staying at La Villages of Nature. Oh, Any have top a tips? great time. Yeah, what do you think to Villages of Nature, Charlotte? I really enjoyed it. I think it was a really nice place to go and they had goats, which was great. Oh, we loved the goats there, we didn't we? We loved it. It was so <laughs> peaceful. I really liked it. And the walk part was great. There we go. Um, thanks so much for your support. We've got Nicole who's watching tonight. Hello there. Me and my man Madeline from York. Love your tree. I'm wondering if you're headed to see our markets. Maybe. Maybe. York's lovely at Christmas, so maybe we will. Over 2,000 of you watching now tonight. Good Hi, evening, everyone. everyone. Welcome to Theme Park Worldwide. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy our videos. And come and say hello in the comments. It'd be great to see you in the live chat just at the side or underneath, depending on what you're watching us on tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you like our Christmas tree. You can see a video I was putting it up over on the Sandbrook Adventures. We so. had a fun time putting that Yeah, up. yeah, we'd love to see you all on that channel. Hi there to Chloe. Um, you two look tall against your tree. How tall are you? I don't really know. I'm about <laughs> five foot six, I think I am. Hi out there to Jane. Um, big shout out to Alfie. Hello, Alfie. Uh, if you could have any ride to Alton Towers, what would it be? 
indoor roller coaster without a doubt. And I think it might be coming. Yeah, fingers crossed. I hope so. Like, that, that dream times. might be coming true. Really do hope so. Thomas, who's watching us tonight, and a big shout out to Emma Hello, in Emma. Macclesfield. Hi there to Macclesfield. Cheryl, who's watching oh, from the thank States. You, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Good evening, afternoon, whatever time it is with you. <laughs> I don't know, but have a wonderful day. Um, so many comments. Uh, Layla's channel, which theme park would you recommend in Europe? Oh, there's so many. Europa Park's great, Fantasyland, Liseberg, Eftelin, loads of great parks. Hi out there to Harry, who's watching Hello, tonight Harry. as well. Uh, Emily Sykes, loving the channel, especially the Disney vlogs. Oh, we love the Disney trips. Oh, it's always great getting out there, isn't it? Um, we've got Stepney, who's watching tonight. Which three defunct UK rides would you bring back? Or oh, for me, it got to be Black Hole, Apocalypse... <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's still a sore subject for me. Oh, have you got one, Charlotte? One you Ooh, miss? Oh, I do quite like the corkscrew, to be honest. Corkscrew, that's it. Toyland Tour, that's another one. I'm only oh, allowed three. I love Toyland Tour. Uh, Cameron's watching from Birmingham tonight. Always Hello. love watching you. Thank you, Cameron, for all of your support. Ian, are you excited for the new coaster at Chessington? Oh, I yes. can't wait for it. We are really looking forward um, to that new coaster at Chessington. Really good. Track's been going in, hasn't it, as well? Very exciting. Um, which is looking really nice. So we, just, we will get round to where we're actually going on this trip at some point. <laughs> We've got that many comments coming in tonight. It really is uh, amazing to see all your support. Thanks, Harry Naylor, for your support. Um, honestly, we really do appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Nathan's watching. Um, TPW Superfan. From Lincoln, watching, uh, love your content. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. We really do appreciate it. Ashley Barrows watching tonight. Hi, Ashley. Hello there. Got platinum passes for the five of us this year. Loved it that much. I promise, Rachel Alton Towers fireworks. Uh, I'll propose to Rachel. Oh, oh pro I read that completely wrong. Proposed to Rachel Alton Towers fireworks. Woo! Woo! Congratulations love to the both that. of you. Uh, that was the 5th of November. Best year ever as a family. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's amazing. We really do appreciate oh, that's it. that's lovely. Oh, thanks, Ashley, and congratulations to yourself. Huge and congratulations. Rachel. Oh, that's amazing, that is. There we go. Luke wants to know what your, your worst ride is, Charlotte. Oh, I've got so many. Insane at Groenland was horrible. <laughs> X2, horrible. Oh. Some of the worst. <laughs> um, so someone's asked here, we've got Verbano Mirage, who's, watch, who's saying an interesting question, actually. Without going to politics, how has Brexit changed your travel availability? The answer to that, not at, not all. at all. Not at all. It's no. made no difference. Uh, other than filming an additional form in every so often, maybe. Yeah, but, but nothing major. No, no major changes at all um, with that, which is good. You know, we were a bit concerned with how much travelling yeah. we do. Um, but yeah, that's not been... Uh, yeah, an, an issue at all, which, which is good. Is good. Um, but yeah, talking of uh, yeah, talking of going to theme parks, what have we got? Where are we going to be heading to first, then, Charlotte, right. on this trip? So we're going to be starting at Europa Park. We are. We're heading to Europa Park for the first time this year, and also for Charlotte's first time at Christmas. I've never seen it at Christmas, so I'm really excited to do a bit of ice skating. It'll be lovely. Yeah, so we've got a nice uh, winter trip coming to Europa Park. That'll we'll be, be there for a few days. Check out all the lights. Get on the rides. We've missed doing some Europe parks this we year. We really have. We did a great uh, Scandinavia trip which was amazing but there's some of the classic parks the staple parks in europe we've really missed definitely so it'd be nice to get to europa park it's always beautiful at christmas so that'll be yeah uh, that'll be coming up so stay tuned for that uh peter uh will the new indoor coaster at alton be black hole themed possibly I someone said horizon it. has something to do with black holes yeah it does apparently um so I'm, I'm not too sure but yeah apparently so Jay Palmer's watching tonight. Uh, and Oscar Palmer, thanks to you, got over your fear of roller coasters and I watch you all the time. Oh, thanks so much for Thank your support. You. Water bottle's coming in just there. <laughs> there you go, that's the running bottle just there. <laughs> oh, don't spit it out. Not on our new, nice new carpet. <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> is that the one from the run? It, it is from the run. Hey, Caitlin's watching tonight. Any tips for someone who has quite a big fear of lift hills, but really wants to do the bigger coasters? Big fan of the channel. Well, thing is with lift hills, it's only a very short part of the ride. It is. Try not to, to just look to the side. You know, you want to just stay focused looking up um, instead of looking at the side. That's my best advice Definitely. for you. Definitely. Don't miss out on, on the big rides because of it, you know. Uh, do I support your <laughs> hashtag remove the trim? <laughs> Anti-trim brakes, what you tonight? <laughs> well, it depends on what route we're on. I'll be honest, trim brakes are normally a bad thing. Yeah, so they are, I, yeah. I, I'll probably support hashtag remove we're the trims, that. to be honest. Darren Cross is watching tonight. Any truth in the possibility of revolution being removed? I've not heard of that at all. I'd like to think it would be false. If it was to be removed, I think that would be very sad. 
So let's I hope that like isn't the case. Oh, it's still a classic. <laughs> Arrow classic, that is. The original Looper. Peter's watching tonight um, as well. Thank you so much for your Thank support. You. Uh, honestly, so many comments, which is uh, amazing. It really is. We really so ap many. do appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be going to Europa Park for Christmas, which is going to be great. Oh, looking forward to that. Yeah, this Christmas there is always really special. We're not staying on site because it was sold out for some of the days. It was, so we couldn't stay on site. Um, but, yeah, we are going to be staying on site when we head to another park in Germany that we've not been to for over a year that we absolutely love. And it's also beautiful at Christmas. Where are we going? Fantasyland! Hey! To Fantasyland, of course, for their winter room event, which is beautiful. We'll get back on Taran, fly, capture the atmosphere of the park. It's always lovely at Christmas. You've not seen it before. You know what I'm looking forward to? Go on. Spring rolls! Hey, get some spring rolls and just an overall great time going to be had at Fantasyland. Yeah. We're also going to be wait. staying on site. We're going to be having a night at Hotel Lingbao, never stayed there. No, we've not stayed at Lingbao uh, So we'll be staying there for two, two nights, actually. Uh, and also a night at Hotel Charles Lindbergh, which looks out over Fly, the Vacoma Coaster. Oh, we love Charles Lindbergh. Yeah, really, really hotel. nice hotel. So yeah, we're got, gonna be uh, staying there, which is gonna be uh, wonderful. Definitely. We're trying to catch up with all these comments tonight because it's there is so, so many. many coming through, uh, which really is amazing. Wake up, Susie, thanks Hello. for watching tonight. Uh, we've got Colo watching. A uh, big shout out to Emma, Emma Homewood who loves the channel. Thank you so much. Hi Emma, thanks for watching. Uh, still over 2,000 of you watching tonight, joining us, thank you so much. Uh, hello from Luke, Amber and Dolly from Beverly. Uh, are you doing any water parks in Europe again? Possibly, I like doing a good water park. Charlotte, not so much. I like just sitting at the side, flapping about. <laughs> Shout out to Liam and Rebecca for Hello. watching tonight. Uh, also, Olivia Tate, thank you so much for your support. Thank Everybody you. sending us super chats tonight. Honestly, thanks thank so, you much. so much. It really does mean the world to us, and it all helps us fund the trips to bring you more content we on the channel. It so, so honestly, much. thank you for your um, support. We really do appreciate it. Uh, hi out there to Ellie tonight. Fran and Harvey, who loves watching thank us both you. as well. Thank you. Uh, along with that, Layla's asked. How do I overcome my fear of heights? Well, Ooh. it's a tough one, that. But it I'd is, say yeah. going on a roller coaster is a good way of overcoming it. Yeah, being like really high on there. Yeah, and going fast, you know, exactly. is, is, is the way you to... You soon whiz through. Yeah, so. that's the thing. Just, just go for it. Exactly. Like you, You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. Um, Luke's watching tonight. Luke Adamson, thank you so thank much you, for your support. But uh, yeah, lots coming up. So we're going to be at Europa Park and Fantasyland in Germany for their Christmas events and staying on site at Fantasyland, Hotel Charles Lindbergh and also Hotel Lingbao, which is the Chinese hotel that we've never stayed at. I've always thought it looks quite interesting. We've had a walk through there before. Yeah. It is quite interesting there, but it'd be it, nice it's, to it's stay It's quite there. spooky, I think. Yeah. It's got a bit of a spooky atmosphere in a weird way. So we'll be covering that. There'll be videos coming up from that. Magical theme park adventures. Love you guys. Loving the home vlogs oh, thank too. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. We really do appreciate it. Uh, honestly, just getting through all these comments tonight. It's crazy. Callum Middleton. Um, girlfriend's too scared to go on log flumes. Any advice? There you go, Charlotte, oh, for this one. I hate the log flumes, <laughs> so I'm with you on that one. There we go. Donna's asked... Um, Hi, hello from Carmestine, my daughter Olivia, and I love meeting you on Wicker Man on the 5th. Any trips to Scotland planned over Christmas? Not at the moment, I've but I've never been maybe? to Scotland. You've never been to Scotland? Oh, no, it's shocking. I can't believe it. I love Scotland. Beautiful place. It really is. I love Scotland. Whereabouts are you from in Scotland? I'd love to know. Um, we've got uh, Annie Kelly who's watching tonight. Big shout out to my girlfriend's mum, Sue. Loves you guys, but can't comment, uh, which is an amazing mother. Oh, that's Aww, nice. how nice is that? If you're enjoying watching, don't forget, give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment where you're watching from tonight. You may just get a shout out from us as well. Um, we really do appreciate it. Um, along with that then, we've got more comments coming in tonight from you oh, all, so which many. is wonderful. We've got Mackenzie Johnson who's watching tonight. Best channel ever. Thank you to your oh, amazing you. travel help. It guides me and my boyfriend to book trips to Europa and Fantasyland and Eftali oh, in amazing. one big trip. Well, you know what? That sounds very similar to it something does. we're doing because <laughs> that trip, Europa Park, Fantasyland and Eftali, we're coming back to the Netherlands. Yay! Yay! We're coming Pardew. We are. We cannot wait. We've not been to Eftel for a couple of years. We love that I part. Love and in a way, I feel like we've neglected like the Netherlands we for a have. little while. And we, we love really the Netherlands. We so we're, we're coming back and we're going to be at Eftel and we're going to be staying on site in the village and we'll be filming all of that. And that's going to be coming up in just a couple of weeks as part of our Christmas oh, I'm trip. I'm really excited. Can't wait to get back to Europa Park, my favourite park in the world. Fantasyland, some of the best 
ride in the world and Eth telling one of the most magical experiences on the planet. We just love Pardue so much. So there you go, Mackenzie. Thanks for that one Thank because it kind of led us into the announcement there. It did. Oh, it's really good. Enjoy your trip. Yeah, hey, you have an absolutely amazing time. Chloe O'Sullivan's Thank watching you, tonight. Chloe. Thank you so much. Um, Verbona Mirage has said, thanks for your support. Um, will you make another Christmas Spectacular? Of course. Of course we will. It'll be the third edition of the Christmas Spectacular this year. And that's going to be coming up on Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. Join us for a quiz, uh, some singing, dancing, all the usual. That'll be coming up Christmas Eve on the Theme Park Worldwide YouTube channel. Very festive. Are you going to give us a sing song this year? Oh, I might do, yeah. Oh, stay tuned, stay tuned. Uh, wake up, Susie. Thanks so much again for your Thank support. You. We really do appreciate it. Um, so many comments, There's honestly. So many. We've got Aaron watching from Guildford in Surrey tonight, um, which is awesome. So many shout outs. Uh, Donna Beatty is watching tonight. Hi there, Donna. How are you doing? Um, oh, that near, Dundee. near Dundee. Oh, thanks so much for your support. There we go. Lovely part of Scotland. I've been to Dundee, actually. It was very nice. I also loved doing the North Coast 500 a few years ago. I'd like to take Charlotte to oh, do, I'd that like to do that at some point. But there so you go. Comment, have you been to Cheshire Oaks yet? We went today. We've been today. Yeah, we've been there. We've been shopping at Cheshire Oaks. Oh, like, did you see us today? Or <laughs> Literally, we've been shopping at Cheshire we've Oaks been today. today. Chloe Frampton is watching you guys. guys do a cracking job love you both and oh, your thank videos you so much. thanks chloe we really appreciate it jess has asked do you prefer lap bars or shoulder harnesses lap definitely bars. lap bars 100%. we love them don't we here we go we got andre's watching um tonight hi thank out there you. to you thank you for your support luke adamson who's joining us tonight as well there we go thank you so much gonna have to have a drink now i've got the classic live stream special the cordial oh, just here as well oh mm. Oh, it's so good, that is. Here we go. Watching from... Uh, have you ever been to Australia? I'd like to go at some point. We'd with love some to go. Kangaroos on there. Anything is possible. Next year, we've got some good travelling coming up. We I don't know if we're going quite that far or not, but you'll have to wait and see. Mm. Here we go. Big shout out to FPL Fuzzy. Went to Ferrari World recently. Rossa, amazing. Oh. Formula Rossa... It's a brilliant ride. However, I've got one bug and the trim brake person can comment back for this one. <laughs> it launches into a trim brake, which is, you know, it's crazy really. Like it it's built, it gets to that top speed of 149 miles an hour then straight into a trim brake. But I hope you had a great time. It is a spectacular ride and um, just getting on that. Jenny's watching. Jenny's been a long-term fan of the channel for uh, honestly a huge amount of time. So thanks Jenny Thank for your support. You so much. Um, Jam sarnies with or without butter? With butter, if you're having a jam sandwich, Jenny. Come on, it's got to be. What about you? <laughs> we would love to know. Oh, honestly, Jenny's been watching the channel for a long time. Um, yeah, lots coming up for Christmas. Um, Jess has asked, all time favourite ride worldwide? For me, it is Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point in Ohio. I am Guazi. I am Guazi. Oh, love Guazi. Yeah, yeah, Charlotte got on that in September. Oh, it was so good. I love yeah, it. Yeah, a bit of I am Guazi. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, just a quick recap of what we're doing, our big Christmas trip. We're going to be going to uh, F Telling, Fantasialand and Europa Park. So excited. I'm that excited, I can't get my words out. <laughs> we're going to be staying in Hotel Charles Lindbergh again. We stayed there when Fly opened for like the preview and we, and we loved, loved it. it. We? So we booked to stay there again. It's the on-site hotel with these aeronaut cabins looking out over the so coaster. Nice. We're so excited. And, and Christmas is a special time for many people, but the parks out there um, are amazing in, in Europe at Christmas. They really go to town with the decorations, uh, which we're really uh, looking Aww. forward to. Richard, my kids, uh, Logan and Jake, love your vlogs, especially when Charlotte goes on water rides. Oh, I hate the water rides. More water rides coming <gasps> no, up. No, no, no. You'll be glad to know that uh, Fantasia Line Chapas is open. Oh, it, you know, no. it is open for, for riding over Not Christmas. No River Quest, though, sadly. Yes. Good. <laughs> Thanks for your support, honestly, Logan and Jake. Uh, the nice rider. Have oh, a great time. Us. Laura ordering your Christmas tree lights as we speak. Hi oh, out there to both of you. Good friends of ours out there in Tenerife. Oh. Uh, honestly, thanks so much. Thank we'll you. definitely have a Greg's uh, on you. We've got a new one opening right near us tomorrow. <laughs> so we will go to Greg's tomorrow yeah, and tomorrow. we'll have one. And yeah, the twinkly lights are amazing. They're Basically, so we've got these advanced Christmas lights that are really good. And you can see them over on uh, the Sandbrook Adventures, it's I'm going to say, so over on Theme Park Worldwide then. Um, but yeah, they're, they're amazing, they're lovely, the, these yeah. lights. And you program them, you do all patterns. Oh, they're so good. But thanks so much for the night strider. Brilliant. I really do appreciate it. Mark's watching tonight. Hi, guys. Please, can you put the on-air light on? We can if you want. There we go. There's the buttons just on the on the side. If you, if you want the on-air light on, here we go. Hey! Hey! We didn't put it on 
because Charlotte's head I is just in the middle there. Oh, well, there we go. This studio setup is designed for one person, really, because when it was designed, Charlotte wasn't full time. Uh -huh. Whereas now, our brand new studio that is under construction, which I'll be talking about later in the video, um, then yeah, it's been built for the both of us. Exactly. So, yeah, whereas with this, it was designed for I'm me sorry. to kind of be here, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and get I'll the plaque and just here, and also the on air side in the middle. But now there's two of us. It doesn't quite work the same, does it? I suppose we could move something to here. But, but we've put it on just for you. No point now because we're going to be uh yeah having this new studio literally by the end of the year hopefully we'll be in there which is very exciting but we've put that on just for you jake and rachel watching from Hello, liverpool man. hi out there to you we really do appreciate your support alison thanks so much for watching thank you along with that ben has said love you guys your videos light up oh, my day well it lights up my day knowing that you like watching the channel honestly thank you so much was that cheesy enough for you all there you go you got a little bit of cheese Tis oh the hello from wine. new york new york hello oh, hi out there from the states oh, i'd love to come back lovely. to new york again maybe over christmas i've never been i saw the rockefeller christmas tree going up but i've never actually seen it on so i'd like to come back See. at christmas don't think we'll get around for that this time, though, unfortunately. Um, we've got Laura, who's watching us tonight. Thank you so much for your support. We Thank really do you. appreciate it. Um, but yeah, the studio's coming on well. So obviously, in our last live stream, we announced the British Theme Park Museum, which is a Thank replacement you, um, to the world of theme parks. It's really exciting. It is. And the big news is that the actual shed, as it is, is now up. And you're going to be able to see that in a new video uh, coming up this weekend, uh, Saturday, over on the Sandbrook Adventures. You're going to get a first look inside what will be our new museum and studio. Obviously, it's not kitted out yet, but the building's up. Me and my dad have been doing it this week. And yeah, once uh, the shed's actually up on that channel, we're then going to have a series, much like Restoring the Alton Towers Bookworm, over here on Theme Park Worldwide, actually kitting it out. Because we've got so much stuff. In fact, right in front of me here, uh, <laughs> so there is so much much stuff ready to go in there all of my collection from over the past 20 years is going to have this new home and i am so excited to share it with you that will be our new place for streaming we'll be saying goodbye to this wall Aww. and hello to a beautiful new studio oh we are so excited for that we really are uh we've got s speedy 97 uh how how are you doing hope you're well uh, i wonder what thought part next coast will be after project exodus and what Ooh. would you like to see again i'm going to say a water coaster I think, so too. I think it's something we lack massively here um in the uk i'd love to see that definitely key comments coming in tonight matthew dunning who's watching us Thank hi you, out matthew. there Hello. let us know where you're watching from again guys we would love to know um, shout out for your fiance Paul uh, from Lewis. There you go. Oh, hello there. There we go. Have an absolutely wonderful evening from Lewis just there um, to fiance Paul. Um, Alice has asked, will you be coming to Lakeside Wonderland in Essex? Maybe. I think it started tonight, or there was a preview tonight. Yeah, there was We tonight. couldn't make it, unfortunately, because obviously we planned this stream and we're down London from tomorrow. But um, yeah, you know, maybe we'll get there over Christmas. I'm yeah, not sure. I'd like to do it. We've got a lot going on, but it's not so a massive much. event. But still, it's uh, it's something, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We'd love to know where you're watching from, though. So keep those coming in. We'll give you some shout outs. Hello from Warwick. Joe is watching us from there tonight. Uh, Arcade Aiden from Nottingham. Let me guess, Aiden. You love arcade games, probably. Is that a, is that a good guess? Would you say? Uh, there we go. So many people watching tonight. Really do appreciate it. We have got Tom from Kidderminster, Hello who's there. joining us on this evening. Uh, we've got Louise Jackson. Thanks so much for your support. Oh, thank you. My son Floyd loves watching oh, your hello, videos. Floyd. Hi out there to you. And thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide here on YouTube. Tanya, hope you can get to Alton Towers. How can you get to Alton Towers by public transport? It's not the easiest, unfortunately. No, you can get a bus there and from a train to the Utoxita or Stoke Station and then a bus, but the times aren't great. It's so not you ideal. You probably would have to be a taxi from the train station. Yeah, there is buses, but the times are the limited. The times aren't great. Talking of Alton Towers, though, we're going to be back there next week for Lightopia and the start of their Christmas oh, event. I'm looking forward to that. We're also going to be at Drayton Manor for their Christmas event, uh, Warwick Castle which we're looking forward to and some more UK Halloween events throughout that we're really looking forward to. Halloween events? Halloween events. Christmas <laughs> events that we're really looking forward We've to. We've gone back in time. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween 2023. Yeah. Early preview. Yeah. Get get, can ready. I get away with that one? There you go. That's the name of these live streams. <laughs> no editing, folks. You get it raw. That's how it is. Lots are coming up for Halloween 2023 yeah. and Christmas 2022. <laughs> Oh dear, nearly about as out in deck in uh, I'm a Celeb oh, the other no. night. Now. There we go. Harry's watching tonight. Uh, hello, Sean and Charlotte from Dartford. Hello in there. In Kent. There we go. Thanks for watching. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> can't believe it. 
uh, honestly. But um, there we go. Thanks Hello so much. York, York not Florida. Um, it's amazing. Honestly, so many people. Hi there to Kyle Wood. Me and my girlfriend love Aww, watching your videos. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kyle. Um, we've got Hales1971. Hi, Sean and Charlotte from Lowestoft. Hope to see you again soon. Aww. Always love coming to Lowestoft for our trip to Pleasurewood Hills. It is a great park. It's a classic. Rob Davidson just arrived home from the Leicester Christmas light switch on. Shout out to my girlfriend, Nat, who braved Accelerator and Thor this year. Oh, Love well you, Vince. Done. Well done. That's the thing. Nice. It's always about braving things. We really encourage that on this channel. Definitely. Give things a try. And if you don't like them, you never have to do them again. Apart from water rides for Charlotte. <laughs> to me. Oh, always plenty of them going on for you. Don't worry about that. Talking of water rides, which ones have you enjoyed the most this year, would you say, Charlotte? I don't think I've enjoyed any of them, to be honest. <laughs> the worst was Popeye. That was awful. You love Popeye and Blue Toast, didn't you? I got soaked. Oh, it was great, Popeye and Blue Toast. So many it comments. This not. is, honestly, all this support coming in. It really Hi is wonderful. Wigan. Wigan. We, we were in Wigan we're earlier in on. We were in Wigan earlier today. Kimberly. Hi, guys. Do you remember me? We meet a lot of Kimberleys. But we meet so many Thanks people, so much for your support. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really do appreciate it. Um, hello from Nick and Beth from Cheadle. Hello. Not too far away. You put a picture of a Christmas tree. Love Have you got that. your tree up? We've put our first Christmas tree up. More will be coming. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Uh, TDY Studios, who's uh, watching tonight. We're trying our best to get through as many comments. Obviously, there's, there's that many so coming many. in. We put the slow mode on to two minutes, and the comments are still moving like this. But honestly, we try and get through them all the best we can do. Uh, latest channel, I'm from Talford, top three UK rise. Oh, I find it so hard. It is tough. I think when you've done so many things that we have now, it's important to appreciate everything. each and everything for what it is. There's some amazing rides out there, but definitely. yeah, it is appreciating each, it really is. E each thing. Yeah, definitely. But there's, there's so much out there to see. Ellie Jane's watching Thank us tonight. You. Simon Roberts, love your channels. Hi to Jake in North Wales. Hello there. Hello, Wales. Um, Dan5800, will the Jumanji's coming along? The inversion looks fab. I've heard rumours the opening won't be till May. Ooh, oh, wow. Now, as far as I'm aware, it was planned for March unless things have been delayed. But the fact Who track's knows? going in, it's November. They've got four months. They I don't know. I, I, I think maybe it might still be on track. There's a lot of groundwork and stuff. I yeah, suppose. the good thing is, though, they've not officially no, they announced haven't. anything yet. So if it is later than they were originally planning, it doesn't matter. No, it because doesn't. Because they haven't actually announced. They've just said spring, you know, 2023. Um, for, for that one but yeah I'm looking exactly. forward to World of Jumanji yeah I think it'll be really good I still wish it wasn't IP because I'm not a huge IP person however I'm still really looking forward to that uh, Arthur's watching from Plymouth tonight uh, thank you so much Jake's watching from Liverpool on this fine evening thanks so much for your support just a quick recap on what we've got coming up trip wise then we're going to be heading out to Europe Germany and the Netherlands F-Telling Fantasyland oh, Europa Park wait. Christmas events lots of rides and some other bits in between we're going to be filming some travel content getting between Which those nice. a big thing what you seem to enjoy is public transport between the parks we're not driving this time we're not uh, the price of fuel I don't think so we're going to be uh, using trains public transport this time I think that would be really nice to so do so we're going to kind of cover how to get between them parks on trains and buses and stuff um, flying about yeah it's going to be good so I'm looking forward to that definitely yeah, I can't wait something a little bit different well, Al Green hello from California oh, hello. USA hi to Cali oh I love SoCal love you guys looking forward to some Christmas karaoke oh, it will be coming up in the Christmas be. spectacular Christmas Eve Eve, seven o'clock on theme park worldwide watching from beijing wow. beijing hello oh my god i love that have love you been to universal that. in beijing comment down below and he opened what last year and um, we've got the steve who's watching tonight thanks so much for your support uh, random beans uh, thanks for making videos even during lockdown Aww, thank you. that was a big thing it wasn't just um, to keep us sane it was to keep all of you sane exactly. as well it, it was a tough time it was so tough for everyone but it really kind of helps you know me to, to focus exactly at yeah. the time me and Charlotte didn't live together no, we so didn't. we couldn't see each other for the first part of the lockdown so for me it really kept things going exactly. filming videos and every day I was just making new content and you know keeping you guys entertained and the channel really active as much as I could do really so honestly thanks so much hopefully we'll never get to uh, get to that point again um, we've got Greg of Scotland who's watching tonight was it Craig of Scotland I'm not, my pronunciation is awful I do try uh, congratulations Charlotte on the run oh, Sean's so turn next uh, needs to do Hotel Psycho there you go a, a fantastic attraction that yeah I'd love to see Charlotte on that oh, terrifying that is one of the highlights of the year actually Vina Prater uh, in Austria oh I had an amazing time there Bear, we're just going to have some drink. Would you like to go to uh, Vina Prater? Yeah, I don't know if I'd do that ghost train, though. It was good. Oh, no. Yeah. 
I think you'd enjoy it. I was scared on blah to get. Oh, yeah, grown a lungs, honestly. It looks so nice from the outside. And then you went inside, it's terrifying. I love it when facades, like, you know, you see them and think, oh, it's yeah, like, it looks small. It's like fish and stuff outside smiling. And then you went in and I was, oh, my God. Is that not a sign that things are getting a bit creepy? It was so scary. If there's a fish <laughs> smiling at you, Charlotte, it probably means it's going to be quite creepy. It was so scary, but it, it was good fun, but I was we have, we have a good laugh. That is what it's all about, isn't it? Thanks to Guy Jones watching from Cheltenham tonight. Hi there to you. Charlotte's water bottle from the run. There this it is. is. from the run. The big Alton Towers run. She did so well. It got honestly. me to the end. So proud. <laughs> Daniel Pollard is watching tonight. Uh, watching from West Berkshire. Thank you so much. Tom's humble abode. Watching from Oxford. Finally, I managed to catch Aww. the stream whilst it's actually live. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Welcome to the stream. If you're watching this after it's been live, hello. Hi there to you too. And stay tuned on our social media channels uh, because we always post when we're doing streams. There will be more streams in the future. I think, you know, once we're all settled into the new studio, honestly, nice. this studio is going to be amazing. We are oh, so wait. pumped for it. I can't wait to show you all. Um, we've got the Ouija brothers who are watching tonight. Come and join us on a ghost oh. hunt one evening. We take you to the UK's most haunted house. Oh my god! That would be great, especially for the Sandbrook Adventures. <laughs> well, would, would you do a Ouija board? Oh, definitely not. Yeah, <laughs> I've done one before at Alton oh, Towers. Definitely not. In the, and we found some things at Alton Towers that were quite scary. Oh. You know, they're scarier than uh, Scarefest. I know that oh. for sure. Doesn't take much though. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> Hey, you got to have a laugh. Sure. On a serious note, I really hope that Scarefest next year it really is back on the on, on the top tier. As I mentioned, Halloween earlier on, exactly. may as well bring it up again. You know, Scarefest needs some big 100%. some big work in our opinion. We've got TDY Studios again Hello watching there. tonight. Lucy Bailey, can you say hi to my son Finley? Hi, hi Finley. Finley, thanks for watching. He's had us watching for ages in the cold at the close of Nemesis, but we just miss you. We're in Cheadle, Aww. not too far away from us here at base. Um, Guy from Cheltenham who's watching tonight. Honestly, thank you thank so you. much. We really do appreciate everyone who's sending super chats tonight. It all really helps us fund future trips and, of course, new content for you all. Um, like I said, we've got this great Christmas trip coming up. Oh, and can't then, wait. Yeah, a big part of what the, the future is, really, for the winter time is going to be building the, the British Theme Park Museum. Now, uh, I mentioned it and we announced it in Florida. However... The long-term plan, initially, of course, this is just a shed in our back garden that's going to be very good, but it, it is just a shed. It is. Yeah. However, the long-term goal, I'm not going to set a time frame on this. I don't want to add pressure to it and stuff, but the long-term goal is to open some sort of attraction museum where you can actually come and visit what's not in our back garden. And even if it's open on select dates throughout the year or something like that, quite close to Alton Towers in this vicinity. And yeah, that's the long-term goal. It's about preserving theme park history. Exactly. At the moment, it's in my private collection. However, I want to share that private collection with as many of you as possible. You come and see but it. it's got to be right. It has, yeah. I don't want to rush into things. Definitely you know, not. it's a lot of work. That's the long-term goal. So I'm not talking next year, probably even the year after. We're talking a few years it's from a now. this space. Yeah, it's, it's a long-term goal. For now, the British Theme Park Museum is a shed in our garden. But once you're inside it, you're going to think, blimey, this is some fancy shed. Mm -hmm. But it is just a shed. However, the long-term plan is to make it so much more than that and have some sort of attraction. You know, that is, really that nice. is the long term. So stay tuned with yeah. that in the future. You know, I might need some of your help with that. You know, maybe we could do some sort of crowdfunding or something like that. I don't know. But, you know, to preserve theme parks, that is the goal. Exactly. You know, and have somewhere for people to come and live and breathe theme parks of you past, present and, and maybe the future. So we'll leave it, really it there nice. for now. But yeah, that's the plan. The so space. coming up this winter, building the British Theme Park Museum, starting off here with a potential relocation in the next however many years. There you Watch go. Watch this space. Kimberly's watching. Do you have any Disney plans? Maybe a cruise. Ooh. We really want to do a Disney cruise. We really do, yeah. You know, we haven't booked anything yet, but 2023 could be our time to do a Disney cruise. We might do one next year. I'd love to do one. You know, I know people always love watching cruise vlogs. I like watching cruise vlogs, but we've never done one. I've never done any sort of cruise. No, we've not. But I've done a mini cruise, like two nights. I've been on a ferry. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> not really not really well, there you go we love Charlotte oh, there you thank go you so much. Uh, from Harry Alfie and Ryan for comments like that 
<laughs> hey, how about the ferry does it count? Nicole is watching. Shout out to William Rose from York. Big fan Hello of the there, channel. William. Love both of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Lucy is watching tonight. Uh, Richard from Market Harbour. What are your thoughts on Chessington Water Park? That's big news, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is big news. Wasn't expecting that one. So yeah, big uh, water park planned. Doesn't look like there's loads of slides, but it looks really well themed, it which looks uh, fantastic. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. There we go. Honestly, keep your comments coming in from where you're watching us from on this fine Thursday evening. Thank you, uh, Amber. Amber, who's watching us tonight. Still so many of you watching tonight. Only 1,800 of you joining yeah, us, no. uh, which is amazing. It really so is. I uh, really do appreciate it. Lucy, uh, Finley missed your hello. He's watching oh, now. Hello, Finley. Hi, Finley. <laughs> thank Hi. you. Thanks, Lucy, for watching. Can't wait to see oh, you guys. Thank you so much. He's our biggest fan. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you. Finley. Honestly, it means the world to us. Uh, Damien Burns, hi out there to you. Love your vlogs. I feel sorry for Charlotte on the water ride. Oh, no. Watching from Cumbria. Oh, no. Thank you so much. I don't feel sorry for Charlotte because she secretly loves them. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm preparing myself next year for these water rides. Oh. Well, gonna, what's that mean? I'm going to be fully prepared. Oh. What Might the... wear a wetsuit. Oh, my God. A wetsuit <laughs> on Valhalla. <laughs> I, honestly, I would pay money to see Charlotte in a wetsuit Get on Valhalla, wet honestly. Uh, Oren's asked, what are your thoughts on Thorpe and Colossus? New trains, maybe? Oh, I'd love new trains with lap Yeah, bars. I mean, sick. Flamingo Land, sick ride, isn't it? Oh, it's great. Um, that was a great addition to the park with lap bars. Yeah, it's nice. It was really good. Nice, smooth ride, so maybe that would be great. I'm from the great. Philippines. Wow. Philippines? So, I, I love doing these streams because we, we get to really interact with our audience. From, like, all over. Yeah, when we're filming the vlogs, obviously, it's amazing. But when we do a live stream, like this just hearing that someone right now yeah, is in the philippines or i saw a comment from canada and uh like china like, people, what, everywhere like amazing i find really it fascinating good, yeah. and honestly from the bottom of our hearts wherever you're watching from around thank the you world so much. thank you so much it's been coming towards the end now of the 10th year of theme park worldwide what a great year we've packed it with trips but i tell you what if you've enjoyed the trips this year oh boy you're going to love what Definitely. we've got coming up next year. You'll love it. 2023 is going to be big. Now Charlotte's full-time on the channel. You know, we've done all this work on the house. I don't think we're ever going to be here, to be oh, honest. No. Like, you know, it's going to be a busy one. It's going to be a busy one. And we're not ready to announce it yet. Plans are still being finalised. But something's coming up in the early stage of next year. Somewhere we've never been before. Somewhere big. Watch somewhere exciting. Space. It's a really quiet time in the UK. But where we're going to, it will be a live and kicking at that time of be. year. There you go. That's your first clue, right? I'll, I'll say for this one. <laughs> honestly, it's going to be great. Really exciting times ahead, uh, which is great. But honestly, thanks so much. Keep your comments coming Thank in. Where are you, you joining us from tonight? Uh, the Steam Age, would you both please be able to do a video on virtual towers? Yeah, I mean, that looks great. It I, does, I, you yeah. know, the, the team has done a great job. We've been doing that. It's Definitely. like a virtual version of it. Kind of like Planet Coaster, but even more detailed. It's really good. It is. So, yeah, well done to everybody doing that. 100%. Um, it's great. Yeah, it's really good. Hi out there from Kenya watching tonight. Hey, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, wow. We'll be going to any Christmas markets, oh, the lighthearted time said. Yeah, I think we're going to go to one next week. Uh, maybe Birmingham I have next to week. Get my marshmallows. Yeah, we, one of our favourite things in the Christmas markets, we, you know, we love it, but we, it does make us laugh, is the fact that most stores sell, you know, that little wooden like houses? Wooden crafts. Wooden and crafts. Stuff. <laughs> we like that we but got the that marshmallows are the best there's going to be some Christmas vlogs coming up on both channels obviously from theme parks from fairs here but on the Sandbrook Adventures get over to that channel we'd love to see you there um, on that channel there's going to be Christmas vlogs as well we're not doing vlogmas on there because of everything with the house and a lot going on last year I did vlogmas 24 videos in a row every day I'm not going to lie, it was a lot to do. It took it out of me. Um, this year, we're focusing on making some longer, more detailed exactly. videos from the house and Christmas events. So there won't be Vlogmas this year, but there will still be Christmas vlogs every few days. Definitely. Uh, to enjoy, so such as tuned. putting up our tree, which is uh, coming on nice. Yeah, Christmas markets, we are going to be doing some, which is, uh, yeah, which is going to be really nice. Definitely. Steve's asked an interesting question. Would you ever write a book? Well, Ooh, to be honest, be quite interesting. yeah, like it is something. Would you like to see a book in the future? Like, I don't know. Comment down below. Would you like to see a book? Thank you so much to Charlotte Jackson, thank who's watching us so tonight. And um, for America, honestly, thanks so much. Oh, we really appreciate you. your support. Uh, really kind of you tonight. Honestly, thank you for joining thank us. You. Really do appreciate your support. It really is very kind of you. Honestly, so many people There's watching from around so the world. Many. Dan5800, any new rides at Winter Wonderland this year? Yeah, there is. They've got a new Starflyer this year. 
Along with that, there's a few other new smaller bits. We were supposed to be getting Holland Blitz, but oh, we haven't. Oh, uh, There's a new spinning coat, I believe, for this year. Along with that, uh, well, we're going to be checking it all out tomorrow, Definitely. which I'm, I'm looking forward to. But uh, yeah, that's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. You'll I'm be looking forward to it. I can't wait for a nice German sausage. It's always part of it. Nice bratwurst. Uh, a big part of Christmas is, is the food, isn't it? These Christmas events. You know, I do love it. Lucy's asked, will we go to Plopsaland during Christmas? We haven't got a trip planned at no, the moment. No, not. Obviously, you know, normally we'd do the Europe trips via car with the price of fuel and it's everything at the moment. quite costly. We, we thought we'd go with doing some public transport Definitely. this time. And also, our past few Europe trips, we've hired cars and stuff. So we thought this time, we want to go back to showing the public transport exactly. side of things It'll again. it nice to not have to drive. Yeah, I'm looking forward to nice. that. You know, even though Charlotte doesn't drive, I, I always I drive. I mean, I don't, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sure. It'll be nice I'm not still, to drive. I'm still like, driving you know. abroad so much. <laughs> oh, Elliot, who's watching from the Isle of Wight? Oh. Hey, I love the Isle of Wight. Uh, any plans to return? Why, why are you saying no, no, no I'm Wight? seeing another comment about water. <laughs> Yeah, the Isle of Wight. Lovely. Lovely place. It's a, it's a shame that Cliffhanger's closed and Black Gang Chine. You know, but you it's know a good what ride. they do have in the Isle of Wight? The needles, 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 needles. We're going to the needles. It's a landmark attraction. Check out the But book. it is six pounds a box. It, it was last year that one we went there, wasn't it? Yeah, last year. All these years are rolling into it's one. this common. There we go. Joseph Patton. Charlotte's New Year's resolution. 100%. More log flume and rapid rise in 2023. That is not good, that. You know, well, what do you think? New Year's resolution. Oh, I don't think I can commit to that. Why? <laughs> to, um, Bethany watching from Kettering. Hello there. Tonight as well. Hi there to everyone in Kettering. Wicksteed Park, your local down there. A little bit of Wicksteed. Weymouth Dorset, which is amazing. But uh, there we go. Lots of different comments coming in about places we should go and visit as well. RIP Cliffhanger. Marriage plans, Amber has Watch asked. Watch this space. Yeah, watch this space. Obviously, we've had the house and everything. That's been a, a, a big Definitely. thing, hasn't it? But uh, yeah, Project Exodus Groundworks begun, Dylan says. Excited for Exodus, are you? Hello from New Zealand. And oh yes, I am God. excited for it. Yeah. Very excited. Back on the good stuff just here. Nice quality orange. How is Nottingham Goose Fair? It was epic. It was good, yeah. Check out the vlog where we did a bit of uh, Ride the Ball. Ride oh, the ball. that was so good. <laughs> oh, good quality drink, that. Is that nice? Really, really nice. Should we get in our new canvas? Yeah, let's Just, grab uh, it. Let's, so we've got something <laughs> inside. Let's get it in and show you. Here we go. Yeah, Look at this. There we go. So Charlotte's so bought this for the I house. I bought this canvas. Isn't it lovely? There you go. If you can't guess where we are, well, we will say we're at Magic Kingdom. At Walt Disney World. How nice is that? We're going to have it on the wall in the bedroom, isn't it lovely? Yeah, we're obviously doing all the decorating. Do you like our canvas? Like, it's lovely. Yeah, you know, I like the way we're looking at each other here saying, oh my God, this trip cost a fortune. <laughs> 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 but yeah, got a nice set uh, so we get that in there. It's lovely. nice. You can put it on the, yeah. put it on the wall just behind isn't us it there. Lovely. There you go. Nice. Oh, actually, that looks quite good. It does. Well, this will be going up somewhere. <laughs> Sorry. <it's all> <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte. There you go. I've got something else to get in a minute. I know what you're saying. It's going to be funny. I don't think we ever showed it in the vlog. I don't not. think we have. We've got something. We've got it's something. nothing theme park related <laughs> at all, but why not? We'll show you it in a bit. Peter, will Thought Park reach our crosses with a new drop? I don't think so, I don't but think you so. never know. Anything's possible. I don't think the supports <laughs> have come out. Uh, Harry Gotcha, do you think Alton Towers needs a soak a water ride? 100% not. I yeah, think for me, it's the climate over it's here. It's not warm. You know, I'd rather have something more like Chapas where you don't get too wet. Exactly. But yeah. I do miss the old uh, flume, of course, the log flume yeah. as it used to be. To be honest, be. I did used to like that. What? You didn't used to get that oh, water it. ride that uh, Charlotte used to enjoy. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get something funny in just here. Uh, coasters and cosplays watching tonight. Home the construction site of Matar Adventure Park. Uh, film a construction update. Oh, the Hot Wheels coaster. Yeah, yeah I've been following that. Saw the stuff from IAPA. I am a bit gutted to not be at IAPA this year. Yeah. Obviously, I was there for my first one 2019. 2020 didn't happen for obvious reasons. I went to last year's. And then this year, because of the house move, we didn't plan to go. And obviously, we'd just been to Florida in September. But I think we'll be back at IAPA next year. Oh, I'd love Charlotte's to go. never I've been. Never been. I'd love to go to, to IAPA again next year and take Charlotte. Like, oh, now I'd you're full-time really like on the channel. Go. Are you all enjoying Charlotte being full-time? It's oh, big. it's really exciting. Like, two months in now? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, two months in with Charlotte uh, being full-time on the channel. 
Uh, Matthew Hartwell loves watching the videos. Kyrie's house, thank oh, you thank so you. much. Extent Crab, who's watching tonight. Uh, flying out to Poland on Christmas Day, heading oh. to Energylandia on Boxing Day, back to London the day after. Have a great Christmas oh, and New Year. Have such a good time. Enjoy it. Like, why You'll not really Boxing Day, it. Energylandia? That'll, that'll be, be really uh, good. that'll be pretty happy, won't it? Like, why it not? It will be. Yeah, I don't blame you. Like, it's a good time to go because, Definitely. you know, it's quite a dead time for UK parks, isn't it, really? So, yeah, exactly. why, why not? James has asked, what do you think will become of the ultimate? Mm. Wow. We, we got sent something, didn't yeah, we, recently? Yeah, apparently it's been testing, so we're not too sure, but the train's been parked back out the station and there was sounds of it testing, so fingers crossed, because the Ultimate's a great ride. I'd love to see the Ultimate come back, and I know somebody else who would also like to be asked if the Ultimate's going to come back. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> there we go. Do you think the Ultimate is going to come back? <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. This is a lovely goat. So explain the story of the goat. So basically, Sean went to a garden centre. I've had him for about a year. And he bought me this goat back. And I was really happy. It's like a proper... It's, I think it's supposed to be like a garden ornament, but we're not going to put it in the garden. It's this lovely goat. They do do a, a bigger version of it, Massive. but every time we go to a garden centre, we always look <laughs> for the bigger version and they never have it. But isn't he lovely? And now we've got a house. Like, we're... If we get the bigger version. We could get the bigger version. We have got Willis for the British Theme Park Museum, but though. The, he's lovely, but they do do a bigger version of him, which is, like, twice the size. We've also got this one that I've got in, like, a plastic, like, animal kit. So they both sit together, aren't they lovely? I've just seen a comment that's made me really laugh. Um, baby, tune in tonight from a rubbish bin behind Greg's. There you go. <laughs> have a great time. You found any sausage rolls in there? Yeah. <laughs> So it's good. That's it. The goat's gone. Get him off the stream. Here we go. go. This. this one's going as well. Bye, viewers. <laughs> we thought we got to get them in. And the thing is with that, you know, you made me sound like I always spend my time in garden centres. I like garden centres. He's lovely. And I'm working on the garden at the moment, as exactly. you'll see, over on the Sandbrook Adventures. A few mentions of that channel, but honestly, we're loving doing something else away from theme yeah. parks as well. It's really refreshing. Mm -hmm. Water bottles back. Uh, really refreshing. So we'd love to see. <laughs> There. And we've been going for nearly an hour already. Oh my god, time goes so fast. It Absolutely does. crazy. Tom's watching tonight. Out there to Hello Tom. There. That's why we've just brought the goats in, you see. Yeah, that yeah. comment made me like rubbish bin behind Greg's. Well, I'll be there tomorrow at our new Greg's. Is there any open. goodies in there? There we go. Uh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Next comment Would you consider getting married at Barry Island? Oh, no way. Nothing against the people of Barry Island. However, uh, no, we will not be getting married at Barry Island Pleasure Park. No. No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Philip, Sean, you're so funny. You make me laugh so much. Well, we try our best. We do. That's what it's all about. You know, having a good time and make the most of life. Exactly. Uh, we don't take things too seriously. I think, you know, the world's in a bit of a tough place, isn't it, at it the moment? Is, yeah. So we try and just bring a bit of joy, bring a light into everyone's life. That's what, that's what it's all about, isn't it, really, you know? Have you ever been to Dobby's Garden World? I've been to Dobby's. Yeah, Dobby's Garden, Garden Centre. Yeah, yeah. Dobby's, you know. I didn't know it was called that. Yeah. I have been, but I didn't realise it was called that. Nothing to do with Harry Potter, I don't it think. It is a good garden centre. I thought you were going to say it is to do with Harry Potter. I was like, what? What's no, it's there? got nothing to do with Dobby the house. No, now. it's not. Dobby's Garden Centre. Oh. <laughs> Thanks again, Tom, for your support. We really Thank do appreciate you. it. Oh, that Barry Island comment. That was funny, that was. And that made me laugh, that did. But we'll keep going for a little bit longer for you here tonight, seeing as there's still so many of you joining us. Still over 1,700 of you watching well, Charlotte tonight. Charlotte be baking again, of course. Over on... The, the Sandbrook Adventures! Adventures. Hey, love to see you. Andy Harvey, Hello watching there. tonight. Thanks to the photo last month at Legoland. Oh, no I only popped in to get a present with my son, and my wife was super jealous. I remember oh. having that photo. Saw you guys when I show you the photo. Uh, have a oh, great Christmas. Have a lovely Christmas. Thanks, Andy, for all of your support. We really do appreciate it. Tobias, who's Hello, watching Tobias. tonight. Hi out there to you, Tobias. Thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate that as well. Um, but yeah, we've got lots coming up for Christmas. Just a quick recap of what, uh, what we've got coming. So obviously, uh, we're going to be heading out on a nice Europe trip in the next couple of weeks. Off to Europa Park, oh, Fantasialand. And F telling back some big Europe parks that we're very really excited nice. for. Uh, along with that as well, we've got lots of UK stuff coming up. And stay tuned for something big happening at the start of 2023, which we should be getting confirmed very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, big shout out to Ian, um, who's watching tonight. Apparently he's got knits. Oh. I, I would get that checked out, Ian, to be honest. There you go. This person's making me laugh. This is the same person who said they were in a bin. Yeah, I know. Greg's. Greg's. There you go. I'll get that sorted out. You can get, what about getting a, a you knit coat? You can get a knit coat. That's what my mum used to get for me back when I had knits. I had knits. Only, like last year. Well. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
God. Oh, we got to laugh. Any plans? We've got uh, Marla is just here. Any plans for new merch? A theme park worldwide Christmas jumper. That yeah. That's so cute. At the moment, obviously, our merchandise is all on spring or Teespring as it used to be. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to look at new merchandise Definitely. options. Watch the space. I think, you know, especially now we're in our house and stuff, you know, there's more options for us 100%. to consider. So stay tuned, especially once everything's set up. I think we will be re releasing merch and having some new merch. So next year um but at the moment of course if you really want to support the channel you can do by um over on uh the, the teespring store where you can get all those different t-shirts and mugs and all that kind of stuff there's a really nice pillow that i love um on there and yeah i'd love to you know it's great seeing you in the parks Definitely. wearing our merch it really it's makes lovely, it yeah here we go. Dan said, 2024 is going to be big. Exodus, Nemesis reopening, and the Legoland dueling coasters. Imagine they all open the same day. Yeah, and possibly something for Drayton Manor, yeah. maybe as well, 2024. But, you know, really well, I'm not confirming anything there, but you've got to think. Apocalypse is now shut this exactly. year. 23, time to clear and build. It's a big space. Maybe opening 24. I've been mean, putting two Who and knows? two together for Drayton Manor. Uh, I think that would be uh, fantastic. Yeah, I'd love to see that. I really would. Definitely. You know, I think that's what Drayton really need now. They do. Uh, yeah. Definitely. But uh, no, stay tuned for, for more merch in the future. It's definitely something that we're considering. Definitely. Because we've not really updated the merch for a while, but we do like the, the, the merchandise that we've got. Thank you, Steph. Thank you so much for all of your support. We really do appreciate it. Uh, Philip, 100% do a book, Stories Aww. from Your Travels. Um, well, you know what? Like, would you all, on a serious note, if I spent the time doing a book, I don't think I'm clever enough to write it. Like, my pronuncia uh, pronunciation, uh, my punctuation and stuff isn't very good. But maybe a book is something that we could write in the future. Yeah, yeah that could be really nice. There we go. Will the museum have a cafe and a bog? Well, we will possibly in the future when it moves to a new location, but... <laughs> We'll see what happens. What's happened to Colossus? Yeah, for anybody who doesn't fully know, uh, tw like 2222 is watching tonight. Um, then yeah, Colossus have took some track out. The Thorpe Park put a TikTok on tonight. Some track's been removed from Colossus at Thorpe. I don't think they're removing it or anything. It looks like retrap work. It says renovation on the hashtags. So yeah, I think that's going to be really, yeah, really good. good to see. Yeah, definitely, 100%. We'll uh, keep going for a little bit longer tonight because you're all enjoying it. I'm surprised that uh, not everyone's left just to go and watch I'm a Celebrity. I know. Thank you for staying yeah, with yeah, us Thanks tonight. for staying. Yeah, I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here, um, which is on at the moment. But yeah, we'll keep going. Bad side tables. There you yeah, the good comment there from the Sandbrook Adventures. Remember that? <laughs> Bad side table instead of bedside. Um, yeah, we've got lots of stuff coming up. So the next video on the Sandbrook Adventures coming out on Saturday, we'll be building the British Theme Park Museum. We actually put up the shed itself, connect the two together, um, which is great. And like I say, that series is then going to kind of continue on to this channel which when we start really kitting nice. out the theme park stuff. I thought initially building the shed and everything fits more with that channel. And then when we start kitting out with all the theme park stuff, then yeah, we'll move it here onto, onto theme park worldwide. So we've got so much. It's going to be very different to the world of theme parks. It's going to be a much bigger size. It's nearly four times the size. Really good. It's going to be special. I'm really excited Definitely. for that. Um, we got yes, it's Martin. Uh, there we go. Oh God, yeah, what a throwback! Hey, do you remember <laughs> Sam Bruce's logo with the coast track and film reels? I made that back in the day. I do remember that. Oh. How can I forget that? Like, oh my God, that's a proper throwback. throwback. That is. Oh, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Really do appreciate it. God, all them years ago, we're talking like God, 12, 13 years ago. Time. I've been you doing YouTube for a long time. Chris Rowland, who's watching tonight. Thank you, Thank you so Chris. much for your support. We really do appreciate it. I can't believe that. See, yes, it's mine. Like, what, what a throwback. Like, that is amazing, that is. But, yeah, it seems like a lot of you would like to see a book. So, I'm not promising anything initially, but maybe at some point we could do a... We could do a book, yeah, yeah about, about the travels. Maybe call it "Life is a Roller Coaster" or something like that. You yeah, know? I don't think uh, was it Ronan Keaton who sung that. I think. Well, yeah, well, no, it was. Yeah. I don't think he'd be very happy with that, though, would he? Here we go. Have your neighbours said anything about the shed? No, we've got lovely neighbours. We have. Every, really nice. We got on really well with everybody, and yeah, I think everyone's really um, supportive Which of everything. Is lovely. Sam Robinson, thank you so much for your support. Do you have a PO box? We'd love to send you a gift. Wow. We We've been thinking about this. We have. We're thinking about maybe temporarily opening a P.O. box. For a short space of time. Yeah, for a short space of time. So you can send things if you want to. And then we can maybe do a live stream and open things on the that stream. That would be quite nice. What, what do you think to that? Let us know. Let us know. Mm. Something a bit different. Got the classic cordial this day. I think that's a bit <laughs> strong tonight. Is that a bit strong, that I cordial? I made that for you. And that, well, that's why. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a bit strong, that, doesn't it? A bit, it's lovely. It needs to be a bit weaker. 
than that, I think, just there. But yeah, we might do a PO box at some Watch point. Watch this space. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to have some stuff being sent to us that we can open and share with you on. That'd be really cool. Tom's humble abode watching again for us. Almost as many retracking projects going on in the UK as there are new rides. I know. Yeah, but at the end of the day, parks are investing. Which is really and good. Merlin are investing. We're about to enter probably a recession, but Merlin and all the parks spending some big money Which at the moment. Which is really good to see. Yeah, I think because they had a good time the past two years, money's been spent to invest. Spending money back in the parks. Why not? That, that's really good. It's an exciting time for the industry at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Austin's asked, are you going to come back to the States on Wildcat at Hershey Park is open? I'd love to because I went to Hershey Park in 2019 on the absolutely knackering road trip. <laughs> I was shattered. Um, so, yeah, I'd love to, to go back there and I'd love to do a lot of them parks again, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah, thanks so much, Austin, for your Someone's support. Commented, do you have a bread bin yet? Oh, 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 oh well, updates. that updates. is an update. We, we do have a bread bin. We do have, we a, do bread have a bread bin. bin and that's going to be coming over on the Sandbrook exactly, Adventures. I keep referencing deal. the other channel. It's a big part of us the now. Bread bin. Yeah, we have a lot going on, don't we now, across both channels as well. And that's the beauty with Charlotte being full time. Which is really You nice. know, we can really focus a lot more. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget, give us a big thumbs up. Um, it always shows that uh, you really enjoy our channel by giving us a thumbs up on the videos. Definitely. Really do appreciate it. Chris has asked, do you prefer USA theme parks or British? Oh, that's a tough question. For me, I enjoy visiting everywhere, exactly. whether it's the USA, UK, Europe, Asia, wherever we are. You have to appreciate everything for what 100%. it is. 100%. In the UK, we've got some great parks. I think we lack theme in here, Definitely. but then so do some parks in the US. But yeah. yeah, it's a mixed bag everywhere. Everything's got, everywhere's got some great parks. Everywhere's got some poorer parks. But no matter what, it's nice seeing everywhere. You know, that's what, uh, that's what it's all about. Yeah, definitely. Uh, SB97, cannot wait for the new Mac Hyper to go up. Yeah, it's going to be big. I think it's going to be the most covered project it really will in be. theme park history in the UK. You know, everyone's going to be there filming it, photographing it. It's going to be big. This time next year, we're going to be down at Thorpe Park. We might have to rent a property nearby. Yeah, you know, yeah it's, going to, it's going to be big. Yeah, looking forward to that. Thanks again, Steph, for your support. Uh, big shout out to Ben, who's Hello, watching ben. tonight. We really do appreciate your support. But yeah, honestly, we've got lots coming up with the big trips. The British Theme Park Museum, a big trip planned for the start of next year. Really and exciting. more throughout the year. So yeah, it's a very exciting time for not just the theme park industry, but theme park worldwide in general. We've got loads coming on. Uh, Hagrid's or Velocicoaster? Oh, definitely Velocicoaster Ooh, for me. Yeah, Velocicoaster. It's 100%. so good. Let's have some quick, snappy questions coming. In. Some le let's have some quick ones well, and we'll, Charlotte be we'll running go through the 10k these. next year if we're here i would love to run the 10k so watch this space breaking news breaking news uh coach productions are we coming to Min minneapolis maybe i don't know, I know. Right, at some point in the future a uh, theme park gamer watching from birmingham tonight uh here we go loads of stuff coming in honestly you should release posters amber says oh, that'd be a nice one there we go shout I, A, J, shout out to the neighbour's dogs. <laughs> there we go. Who don't stop barking? Balking? Is that barking? I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Will your wedding be on a roller coaster? Actually, as a family, we love theme park worldwide and Sandra Adventures. We're buzzed to meet you on the 80 Bridge this year. Uh, thanks again to the theme parks from Rach and Ashley. Oh, Aww, honestly. Thank you. We really do appreciate it. When's the wedding? Watch this, Watch this space. space. Watch this space. Like, Hind of the Ride versus Wicker Man. Wicker Man for me. Oh, Theme Park UK, B&M or Intamin. Oh, Intamin, I think. They pack a good punch, but mm. B&M build quality is always fantastic. And two weeks until you were like riding Velocicoaster oh, today. have an amazing time. It's so good. Shout out to Laurie, Sheila, Sarah and Wayne in Cannock. Who are watching oh, tonight? Hello in Cannock. Hey, there we go. Joe Southend got a new big wheel. Yeah. They have indeed. The lighting package on that. It looks really oh, good. Oh, it looks gorgeous, that does. Yeah, definitely. We'll I'd like to. We're going to, uh, to any pantos this year. Yeah, we will be. We will be, of course. Uh, Stoke on Trent, which isn't too far from us. They have a good panto. Going we'll be to going one. to that. Definitely look forward to that one. Excited for Valhalla. What are you thinking, Charlotte? I think it's one of them where the hype's just completely died now, unfortunately, because it's just been dragged on for so long. I'm a bit worried now that we've oh, seen no. that blocked in. It doesn't look bit. great, does it? No, no, I am a bit concerned about that one mm. but we will see what happens and uh, jamie who's watching tonight any predictions on what they'll do with top floor dragster so many rumors so much speculation I still haven't ridden it the latest <laughs> one is that zamperla could be working on it i mean i'm not gonna lie zamperla do some good rides but then i look at their valare and stuff and think would i want them working on such a historic ride i don't know but 
We'll see what happens. Them new trains that Zampur announced at IAPA look like they could maybe go on to Dragster. And I don't know. I like, just want it to open so that I can ride it. Is it going to be the same though? But I, I don't know. Like I hope it comes back. I uh, really want to go out there to, to see the point. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Rage has asked something that I did cover earlier, but I'll mention it again. Will the British Theme Park Museum open to the public? Uh, not initially. It but will just be in our back space. garden. The plan in the long term is to actually move it to another location and open it up as some sort of attraction, maybe some other bits really there as nice. well. That's the, the long-term goal for, for the future, um, which is going to be good. Attraction Addict, love the channel. <laughs> Thoughts on the rumoured Chucklevision theme b and Wow, Ooh. that'd be a good theme, wouldn't it? There you go. Or oh, dueling coasters, one for Paul, one for Barry. Aww. There you go, how about that? <laughs> that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, oh, Tom's Humble Abode, what's your least favourite manufacturer uh, and your favourite manufacturer? Oh, I think for me, my favourite Intamin, least favourite. Um, oh, I'm going to go for Togo with that one. I've only done a couple of days, but I'm going to go Togo. What about you, Charlotte? I just appreciate everything for what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you like the snapping of, a, of a, an Intamin. I though, do. Don't you? I love like launch and stuff. Yeah, or maybe RMC now for you because yeah, of. To be honest, I've quasi. done quite a lot now, but the issue is with RMC. Some of the restraints are just a bit too tight for me. Yeah, yeah, the train design isn't uh, isn't the best. Ricky Burns, what's your tonight? Highest recommendations for High Park Winter Wonderland? Definitely Airborne, which is amazing. Of course, Olympia Looping, Munich Looping, whilst it's in the UK. Hangover, which is absolutely oh, no. epic. <laughs> uh, along with that, Wild Mouse XXXXXL. Oh, I love Wild Mouse XXXL. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely brilliant ride, that is. Uh, thanks so much again to Attraction Addict for your support. Oh, we really do appreciate so it. Very kind of you for watching. We'll give it another five minutes or so tonight for the live stream and then we will wrap up and uh, let you all enjoy your evening. Uh, I'm not saying that you're not enjoying your evening with us. I hope that you are. And thanks for joining us on this Thursday. Thank you so much. Yeah, really nice uh, that you've all come and spent the evening with us here on Theme Park Worldwide. Callum is watching tonight. What do you think about the plans for a water park at Chessington? I think it will Love go the channel. well, to be honest. It looks well themed. I like how they've got like this elephant with a water slide coming out. I haven't fully looked at the plans yet. Yeah, there's like a trunk um, with like a water feature coming out. If it looks like the plans, it It'll could be, be really, really nice. good. I'll probably do a video on the channel talking more about it as we get more. So stay tuned for that. Mm. Rachel, PO Box is a good oh. idea. Think of all the goats oh, gifts. I love that. Like the big goats just over here. There but we go. But they do do a bigger version <laughs> of this Big one. goats, big goats. <laughs> oh, we love the big goat, don't we? Yeah, we, I think we'll go for the PO Box. Like, you know, it'd be great. <laughs> Richard asked a good one. Uh, I'd love to know the answer to this yeah. one myself. Will the London Resort ever happen? Maybe, or maybe not. Who knows? Ten years into it was announced, probably not. No, nah, I don't um, think so. You know, but the way I see it is... It would have been great. It would. And Universal are very big with their expansions at the moment. Could we maybe see Universal try and revisit Europe? Like, they used to have Port Aventura. That should be good. I'd love to see Universal come to Europe like with a big park. I think it would be great. Um, the Lama King thoughts on San Perla coaster at Southport yeah it looks interesting however I've heard rumours that it might not be a San Perla coaster now so watch this space for that one um, yeah that's quite uh, quite interesting yeah keep your comments coming in we'll have another few minutes Hello left of tonight's live stream oh good old Skeg Vegas love the sign where it's so good you yeah, enjoyed seeing the sign yeah it was lovely <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fantastic. But um, yeah, we've got lots coming up. Like, that's the, the key to this. We've got so much to be excited for. Uh, and of course, the festive season just around the corner. It's a, it's a magical time anyway. Is, but yeah. just going out there to the parks at Christmas. And it's there's really nowhere nice. like Christmas in Germany, in my opinion. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, like Europa Park and Fantasialand. The amount of lights and decorations like Fantasialand. You're going to see it in the vlogs. But they put all icicle lights everywhere. Aww. They even have real snow, what they put out. Um, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And of course, Europa Park's a massive park, but I don't think you could stand in one part of that park and not see something Christmas related. The whole place is beautifully decorated. So yeah, that's all going to be coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide with our Christmas vlogs uh, and more. So we might add some more bits in yet in December. Who knows? Um, you know, I mean, it all depends. We've got a lot happening still with the house, but we'll, we'll try and get in as much as we can. But we're gearing up really to go big next year which so is going to be special thank mike, you mike who's watching us tonight really do appreciate it uh james planet coaster yes or no well at the moment no but possibly don't rule it out in the future exactly. um i've got no plans for any planet coast at the moment mainly because of time i know you know a big focus for us at the moment is really um getting charlotte settled in full time definitely and also the sandbrook adventures so yeah it, you know we're focusing on that aren't we definitely 
Well, watch this space. Maybe at some point, maybe more Planet Coaster. Uh, this is a random one. Oh. Uh, I A J. What crisp would you recommend? I buy from Asda. I'll let Charlotte do this one. Do you know what I like? Them giant Watsits. They're really oh. good. Oh yeah, Dude, they're really there good. We go. Aren't they? We've actually got a box of crisps just in front of us. Yeah, me. we have. <laughs> Ready for crumbo. There we go. Um, Oh, for the P.O. Box, would you like a 1980s oh, Disney ticket? Tim said, yes, I would. That's, that's it. Really... We're doing a P.O. Box. Like, there we go. Oh. That's the that's the thing. You know, people can send us some lovely things, and especially with us opening the museum. It'd be really nice. If you've got anything that you'd love to donate to the museum, you could send it to our P.O. Box. Exactly. So, so there watch we go. the space on that Yeah, one. we're definitely going to have one. Like, it's not even a watch this space now. We will have a P.O. Box yeah, soon. Yeah, we will do. We're going to set one up, and if anybody wants to donate anything to the museum, That'd they can lovely. do then. Whether it's small, big, whatever it is, would appreciate it. So yeah, honestly, thank you so much. That will be coming up. So stay tuned for that one. Maybe you've got something that you think it's really nice, but you don't have anywhere for it, or you want it to go somewhere that's going to be treasured and preserved, then yeah, you know, we'd really appreciate that. So that's going to be amazing. It really is. Honestly, so much to look forward to. But so the, the museum is, is the big one for me at the moment. It's exciting. It is, because I've wanted this for a long time. I've Definitely. got so much in my collection, but just to have a big space for everything um, is, is going to be amazing. It really will be, It, yeah. it really is. And you're going to be seeing that over winter. It gives a time frame for it being open here in our garden for, for the videos as a studio. Hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be filming our first kind of videos in there. And then going into early next year, yeah, it's going to be completed hopefully by the start of next season. By March, I'd like to think it'll be fully finished and all ready for videos and tours and that sort of thing. So, Definitely. yeah, amazing. People watch you from Tenerife, which is uh, amazing as well. Attraction Addict had a photo with you both now on my coffee mug. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. So you get it printed on there. Nice oh, little, uh, nice little cute. picture with us, which is amazing. But there we go. We'll just uh, have another couple of minutes and then we will wrap up this evening's uh, live stream here on Theme Park Worldwide. Hello, Ellie Josh Thompson. and Rich. Yeah, thanks to uh, Josh and Rich for your support from Hull. There we go. Loved Hull Fair. Oh, it was really good. You I loved really, it, didn't you? Really enjoyed it, yeah. It's not always about going on all the rides at, the, at these fairs. It's about soaking up the atmosphere. The atmosphere was good. Just Getting walking nice around. Well. Oh, yeah, you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, that was really good. Paul's asked, guys, quickly, can you do top five Orlando oh. rides? Oh, well, if we're going for Orlando, we can't say Bush Gardens because obviously that's Flor just yeah. Florida in general. But Orlando rides, obviously, Velocicoaster, Mako, Expedition Everest. Hagrid, Dinosaur, the Mummy, Figment. Figment. Oh, so many great rides. Honestly, Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic There's Rewind. So many good rides. Oh, loads of great rides. There really is. But uh, yeah. It's hard to choose. Orlando is a place and it's getting better. The, the BM Surf, the trains for that. Oh, it looks really good. We're going to be bouncing up and down yeah. on that. Uh, it looks amazing. Like, honestly, so much to, to really look forward to. Definitely. But uh, there we go. We'll get our last few comments in tonight. Thanks again to the Tech Giant for joining us. Thank Do you. Do we think Alton Towns will sell off parts of the old Nemesis track? Hopefully they do. That'd be good to see. Even if you cut it into, you know, small sections like this, um, then yeah, I think that'd be, you know, that'd I be really that nice. I think that would work better if they did, did it into smaller sections so people have got a chance of being able to get it back. Yeah, realistically, if they're selling off big sections, people it's, aren't going to sell much. Park, like parks in the past have tried to give like full boats and stuff away and people don't want them because they're too big. Exactly. So I think, yeah, it'd be nice if they'd put them on like a commemorative plaque Kind of like Blackpool do with some of uh, some of their bits as well. Last couple of minutes, Ashley says we go fund me for funding your Aww. dream. Well, maybe so. Crowdfunding could be something we look at. I think the initial stages will finish off the British Theme Park Museum in this location, this and then we will look at where we're going to go in the future and maybe try and get a bit of a time frame on there. But the long term goal, I want all of you watching this right now and everyone uh, on the channel, over 300,000 of you, to have somewhere to come and visit. Exactly. And lovely. Come and celebrate theme parks and also, you know, be immersed in some other experiences as well. That's the long term goal. So, honestly, loads to be looking forward to in the future. And uh, there really is. The, the, the Lama King, can I send you a Greg sausage roll? You Ooh, can if you want to. You know, We're going down to our new Greg's tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, that opens tomorrow. So, yeah, we're we going to go and wait. check that out before we head down to London for some Winter Wonderland action. Um, but, yeah, what a great year. That is just a, a bit of a recap, really, on 2022. Obviously, we've got some more streams we'll do before the we end of the year. Do, but uh, these are going to be more regular now. 
Now we know our internet's very reliable it here. It is good. It's not, is I think the quality stayed pretty good tonight for you, which is good. But yeah, stay tuned. Um, you know, for, for lots of exciting things. But 2022, obviously, the, the main highlight of this year uh, was putting a ring on Charlotte's finger. Oh, that yeah. was lovely, wasn't yeah. it? We started off the year great. Yeah, that's going to be like a year ago. I know, so. it will be. Yeah, you know, that was January when we got engaged. Like, that's amazing, that was. It's wasn't gone it? so fast. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, that was the highlight. But obviously, doing Vegas again was good. We had a Denmark trip. We've done some really good stuff. Oh, the Europe bits, which has been good. Some new bits for me, like Prater was really good. Um, and then, yeah, Florida going back out there. It's been an epic it has. year. It's been fantastic. You know, and I just want to, once again, say thank you thank so much. You so much to, to all of you for, for making this dream happen, you know. Uh, it really, it, it makes me emotional. I look does. back over everything. Uh, it really, it, it makes me really emotional. Lovely, yeah. Honestly, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. Just before we uh, leave you all for this evening, we'll just give you another couple of shout outs. Uh, Keen who's watching tonight, thanks so much for your support. Everybody's loving the sound of doing a PO box. Um, so yeah, you know, definitely stay, definitely, yeah. stay tuned. You know, I think it'd be a really nice way, especially with the museum. One hundred percent. Oh, all these hearts coming in. Let's just fill the chat with love and support for everyone out there tonight. Really you know, nice. it's a tough time at the moment. It and really we really is. want our videos to be a place where we can come away from all the rubbish that's going on out exactly. there and just enjoy life, enjoy the content, have a good time. And whether you're watching us here on Theme Park Worldwide or on the Sandbrook Adventures, come and join us for just, you know, having a laugh. You know, we exactly. don't take these too seriously. Like, we want to have a good time um, and just, yeah, we don't really care, like, what we say. We just want to enjoy life. We just life. want to like, have fun. Yeah, definitely. It's about having a good time, making definitely. the most of things. Oh, here we go. All these hearts oh, coming in. Love hearts oh, coming I think what, what a way to, to wrap up tonight. Definitely. Is it too early to say Merry Christmas? I won't go too far, but I'll say, you know, hope Christmas preps are going well for you all. Definitely. There's going to be more Christmas prep. Oh, look at that. What a way oh, to wrap up. Lovely. You know, what a way to wrap it up tonight. All this Christmas love uh, and all this love in general for the channel and all we for each other. Be kind it. to each other. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. um, we're going to leave it there for tonight. It's always really hard to end these streams because it it's just so lovely, like going through them all. It really is. Uh, Galaxy Studios, where do you stay when we go in London? Loads of different places, depending on the best deals. Normally travel lodges or and stuff like, like that. Travel lodge. Um, normally the best. All these hearts, thank you so much. Um, yeah, just amazing. We, we really do appreciate all of your support. To everyone who's supported us and sent super chats tonight. Thank you so honestly, much. Honestly, thanks so much, Rebecca, just we there. Really appreciate um, it. We really do appreciate it. Obviously, it all helps with our future uh, trips and filming new content. Exactly. You know, because it means we can go and do more and share new videos and hopefully bring a bit of a light into everyone's life. You know, we like to have a good time, a good laugh. We love doing this. And we're really pleased that you all enjoy watching. And the fact that, you know, not just I had the opportunity four years ago to make this my full-time job. Now Charlotte has as oh, well. It's really exciting. It, it, it is. And the fact we're, we're lucky at that stage. So I'm really getting emotional here. Aww. Like, you know, just reflecting on everything and sitting here in our lovely, lovely house and thinking, you know what? Thank you so much to everyone. This, this is where we're at. But things are, are going to get bigger and, and better in exactly. the future. It's Definitely. Exciting. Right. That's all for tonight. Go and watch I'm a Celebrity get me out of here. Exactly. Uh, have a wonderful <laughs> evening, everyone. Thanks again so much for joining us. We'll have another stream soon. And in terms we of content coming do. up, High Park Winter Wonderland, and uh, some more London bits across both channels. And of course, our trips to Efteling, Europa Park, Fantasialand, oh, loads more Christmas wait. content from some of the UK bits as well. And uh, all leading up towards something big at the start of 2023. Oh, it is indeed. Thank you very much for Thank watching, you. everyone. And uh, yeah, we're going to work wrap up this stream just here have an absolutely wonderful evening i think uh, that leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you all in the next video thank you so much bye bye